Hey, it's Nicole and today I'm doing a little demo and tutorial with um, these new Flexi Flakies by Sparkle & Co. So to apply them, I first applied black and white polish. So this is the second layer of that polish. And then I waited for it to almost fully dry, but it was still a tiny bit tacky. I'm pretty sure you could also do it if it was fully dry. But I just left it so it was a little bit tacky. And then I'm going to apply the Flakies right on top using Twinkled Tea's silicone applicator tool. So here's the Flakies by Sparkle & Co. I have the first three and they all have different tones in them and they look like unicorn rainbow fish food like if, if there was a unicorn fish pretty sure they would eat these flakes just saying so that's what they look like they all look kind of similar but they reflect different colors so I started with FF1 and I applied that on my pinky and then I also applied it on my ring finger because they do look different over different colors so I thought I'd do one white nail and then I applied FF2 on my middle finger and FF3 on my pointer finger. So this is like a rainbow design with a bunch of different flaky colors. And then I did similar coordinated stamping on top of all of them. So pretty much I just pick up some of the flakies and I kind of don't press too hard. Just kind of carefully set them with the tool and press them a little bit into the nail. And you don't really want to rub because since the nail polish isn't 100% dry, you will like start pulling the nail polish up. So you just want to kind of very gently push them into the nail and rub a tiny, tiny bit, like very, very light pressure or you will smudge the polish. I know because I did that. So <laughs> take it from me. You will smudge the polish, so don't use too much pressure and just kind of stick to pushing them in. So I just continued applying the flakies. By the way, they do, these do clean up pretty well on my mat. I just took some acetone and they came off. They did leave a bit of a sheen, but they cleaned up pretty good. And then most of the sparkle washed off when I washed my nails after doing them. So fairly easy cleanup, not too much of a mess. So that's always great. So it's like a chameleon look without the hassle and normal top coat doesn't ruin the finish, which gel top coat does that too. So you don't need a special top coat and it gets you a cool dragon scale unicorn chameleon look. So once I applied those, I took a fan brush to dust off the excess um, flakes that were around my nail just so I can get a more clean top coat. And then I applied a layer of top coat on top of all of them. And as you can see, it really doesn't ruin the finish at all. They still look the same as they did before. So I just applied that top coat and I'm doing this to make sure that they're all like stuck in the nail before I stamp. So there's kind of the shifts. You can see the different ones have different shifts. And next I'm taking Uber Chic's plate 11-03 for this mandala image. But first I'm applying liquid latex as per usual. And then I'm starting with stamping in white for my pointer finger. And I'm going to fill in with some kind of coordinating colors, kind of, not really. So I filled in the middle here with this China Glaze pink color. It's called Rosamund Thorns. And then I took that on the little petals on the outside too. And then I took Atlantis at Last by Kobe Cosmetics and then Julep's Missy. And then once that was touch dry, I transferred it. And you can see fingerprints and smudges in there. It's because I used too much pressure. Don't use too much pressure. Pressure. Anyway, so then I just removed the latex after cleaning up and then I'm taking this Mexican pink color and I'm putting this one over the white nail. So I just use white polish to fill in the middle part and then the silver again right outside the white. And then on the other two nails I decided not to do reverse stamping. I just did this coordinating image and stamped it on the corner. My fingers are totally in the way from both of these, sorry. But I just stuck that image, and that one's my favorite nail. The pinky turned out the best, I think. Next, I'm taking Orly's matte top coat in case you wanted to see if they look like matte. They still look pretty cool and they still shift well. It's just a bit of a different finish, obviously. So, there's kind of the shift you can see. Next, I applied another layer of top coat because I decided I'd rather have it shiny than matte, so just left it shiny. 
So that's it for today's tutorial for my rainbow unicorn mandala nails. Thanks so much for watching and let me know what you think. Bye!